Hello, um, I'm Wing Song Halo, and uh, this is a recording of Chapter Three of A New Journey, Jewel Mon. So um, I'll get right started right on that then. Um, chapter Three: Exis achieves Dual Mon status. Status. Dual Mon status. Oh no, wait. I'm sorry. It's Chapter Three: Exis achieves. Paragraph space. Dual Mon status. So I guess those are two separate clauses. When we woke up in the morning, we continued our journey. On our way to a town called Revelix. That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Well, other than Braven. Braven is still the stupid, stupidest. We came across the alley. We heard Pikachu's sobs, and Exes went to investigate. He pulled out he he pulled out he the tired, hurt Pikachu from the trash bin, and he rubbed the tears off his soaked cheek. Pika, Pikachu! Pikachu cheered, calming down. I, that probably didn't sound happy enough, but anyway. Raven used her Toolmon powers to translate. He said that Ash thought he was outdated, and that Ash replaced him with Deden. He also said that Ash has become cruel and abusive. <laughs> Seriously, like, what would cause this? Like, just leave, leave Satoshi alone. I love him. After we cleaned and healed the poor Pikachu, he was in a much better mood, but he was still kind of shaked up. Shaked up. I still don't see why Ash wouldn't let Pikachu evolve, Exe said with him on his- It's because Pikachu didn't want to evolve, you jerk! With him on his shoulder, he's had him for three years! I used to be good friends with Ash, so it's pretty surprising to hear that Ash has become cruel, Cooper remarked. I have just the thing, I exclaimed, pulling out a thunderstone. Okay, first you turned Ash into an abusive jerk, and now you're going to evolve Pikachu? What is wrong with you? Soon we went to a Pokemon slash Pokemon hospital. The others had no idea who they were, but I was shocked to see Lorenzo, Bianca, and Ladias. What the hell are they doing here? I had seen them in Altomare on the family vacation three years before. I love how the OCs, like always automatically know like all of the characters like oh yeah we've been friends for like ever neither of us knew that ash was in the store we were heading into ladias burst through the door and headed straight to ash full of joy but before i could warn ladias ash jumped around with a dagger and he stabbed poor ladias that was my phone you just heard going off but like I don't even know what to say. I just, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> but holy shit. <laughs> I don't know if this is like a troll fic or what, like, but I caught a Latias. He yelled, capturing Latias with a Pokeball. Quickly, Braven used Ember on the Pokeball, exploding the ball and releasing La What if it hadn't released Latias? What if you just like burned the Pokeball and Latias with it, like... Lorenzo and Bianca rushed to help Latias, but the explosion also exploded Ash's hand. <laughs> Holy shit. Boiling blood was spattered on his face. The nurse Joy took Ash to a corner so that she could him. But he threw her aside and he ran for me. What the fuck is wrong with this, Ash? Suddenly, though, Exis ran in between both of us, and he was surrounded in a ball of fire. He was glorified, and he came out as a Charmeleon. <laughs> glorified. Now, Exis, Braven, and Cooper were all dual mon. Exis promptly blasted Ash away. Yay! Braven gleefully shouted. Now Exis is a Charmeleon dual mon. They were all very excited, but I wasn't. They all had become dual mon, so why didn't I? Later, we stayed at Professor Juniper's house in Revelix City, and, you know, didn't say anything further about the stabbed Latias. Seriously, what the fuck? Okay, so, um, that short but extremely disturbing passage was, um, the entirety of Chapter 3. So, um, thank you for listening, and, um, I hope to see you next time. Well, not see you, but I hope you see me next time. <laughs> okay, bye.